Hello everybody, my name is Gar Reynolds and I have a little story to tell you. Uh, it's a story about a change. Not a big change, but it's a kind of a important change to me. So uh, I'm going to explain how I went from 90 kilograms in weight to 80 kilograms in weight in a relatively short period of time. And it's something that actually uh, changed my life. So let me explain what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's my story. Uh, I've been in shape all my life. I mean, most kids are, and I was as a kid. And in high school, I was very active in sports and in college, and it was no problem uh, to stay relatively fit. Uh, even after I got married, and I didn't get married till I was uh, in my 40s, uh, and then all through, you know, uh, even before we had kids, I was managed to, to stay in shape. Uh, but when we had our two children, and we have two cats and dog, some birds, but then things started to change. So uh, as you can see here, I, I guess I look pretty normal and uh, in pretty good shape, but uh, something's changed. In fact, if we zoom in there, it kind of looks like a melon head there. And I got something going on with uh, the buttons here. So the suit fits, but, you know, it's a little tight. Uh, pretty normal, uh, but I, I didn't feel really good. In fact, you can kind of see it here. Uh, I've been like 80 kilograms my whole life. Well, not my whole life, but most of my life, my adult life. Uh, and then things started to, um, well, I just got a little uh, chubby, I guess. It just sort of snuck up on me. So this is a presentation about how things just have to change. So I started this journey about a year ago when I was 90 kilograms and I went down to 80 kilograms, which is my current weight now. And as far as exercise uh, was concerned, I, I've always been active in hiking and lifting weights. Uh, that maybe got a little bit less than it usually was, but pretty much exercise was okay. That was not the problem. Uh, the problem was food, and it wasn't so much the amount of food, but what I was eating. So I, I did some research, and I started to do things right off the bat um, where I just didn't eat as often. So I started fasting, or what's called intermittent fasting. So not, you know, 24 hours or 48 hours, uh, but sometimes 20 hours, sometimes you know 18 hours. Uh, uh, once in a while, I'd go actually 24 hours without eating. Uh, and then I did some research and discovered a, um, a way of eating, which is called keto. And you, you may have heard of it, and there's a lot of misunderstandings about it. And a lot of people who don't really know it very well call it a fad diet. But it really isn't. It's a very human diet. I think it's the way humans have been eating for a long time. Actually, the way we've been eating in the last 70 years is more of a fad. Uh, but the keto diet uh, looks something like this. So the idea is that you want to have about 70 to 75 percent of your diet uh, consisting of fats. Now, I know that goes against uh, conventional wisdom and what the medical community has been saying for a long time, um, but uh, just do some research about this. Now, these are healthy fats, not uh, unhealthy fats that you find in potato chips and cookies and these kinds of things, but you know, healthy uh, animal fats like from fish, from salmon, or in butter, uh, coconuts, avocados, uh, olive oil, and so on. So 75% from fats, 20% or so from protein like chicken and meats and, and fishes and cheese and eggs and other things. And then, you, of course, you have to have some carbohydrates. Um, and you get a lot of nutrition from carbohydrates, such as vegetables um, and some fruit, but mainly uh, vegetables. So another way of looking at it is like this. You can kind of see that uh, up on top, the things that we uh, want to eat are things like nuts and coconuts. Then it goes down to uh, fish and seafood and things like that. But the main thing here, which might be interesting to you, are the things that you exclude or stop eating. And you don't have to stop eating it all together, although there are people who just completely cut this out. Uh, certainly sugar, simple sugars, uh, candy, you know, ice cream, things like that. I mean, maybe once in a while, of course, treat yourself. Uh, but things like bread and, and rice, pasta, corn, milk, these kinds of things. And of course, simple sugars like candy and a lot of junk food. As much as you can, uh, just cut that out. And so that's what I did. So what's a typical day look like? So I thought I'd break it up for you here. So if this is the, the day, I wake up around 5.30, 5.45. So I can eat breakfast around 6 o'clock. And then I don't eat lunch, and I don't eat until around probably 7 o'clock or so. So 7 
8 uh, up to 9 o'clock. I might snack on something uh, after dinner. Uh, but that's it. And then, of course, there's 8 to 9 hours of sleep. So that gives me 13 hours um, in the day, which is a uh, you know, good time for... Uh, the body to rest and for it to liver to the liver to uh, have a break. So what it looks like in terms of what I eat. So it's a higher fat diet. So therefore, I'm not really hungry throughout the day because I'm I'm you know uh, satiated. I'm satisfied with this kind of uh, breakfast of eggs uh, and bacon or sausage and avocado. And of course, I have uh, a lot of vegetables as well. Or it might be something like salmon, a traditional uh, Japanese breakfast, but without the rice. And of course, I also have coffee. I love black coffee. Um, and I have coffee with grass-fed butter, which ups the calories. And it's really uh, fantastic. It's something I really, really love. Um, and that, in terms of calories, is perhaps 1,200 calories or so, which isn't a small amount. But again, I'm quite active as well. Um, and then for dinner, could be something like salmon or chicken or steak uh, with vegetables like broccoli, uh, with mayonnaise or asparagus, something like that. Um, and then more greens with that, uh, cheese, sour cream, uh, cream cheese, things like that. Uh, and that gets the calories up to 14, 1600 or so. So it's not a small number of calories. Uh, but what's missing compared to my usual diet was snacking in between and any kind of junk food at all. So that's kind of basically how my day looks. And as the result is, you can kind of see uh, from this video, this was at Christmas time, so about uh, six months into the, the diet, you can see that I'm much thinner uh, in the face. And uh, yeah, a lot of the fat has all disappeared from my body. And I lost, as I said, 10 kilograms. Um, so it really does work. At least it works for me so far. Uh, right now it's June, it's almost July, so almost a year since I've been on this diet. And of course it's not really a diet, it's a lifestyle change. Uh, you hear people talk about keto diet and, and things like this, and there's a lot of misunderstandings about it. Uh, at least for me, I think it's been very healthy. My you know, physicals, my medical physicals with the doctors and the hospitals and so on have been really good. All my numbers uh, are looking really good. I feel really good. And one of the big changes I, I didn't mention before was that uh, I'm not sleepy anymore. So when I would go to Kansai Gaidai on the train, I would often get sleepy on the way there. And uh, because I don't eat uh, so much bread or, or rice or anything like that, um, I don't know, I, I'm just not sleepy anymore. Except when, it, of course, it's time to go to sleep. So anyway, for me, it's been uh, really good. So thanks very much, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>